Oh, it started without me even turning it on. But anyhow, I am... Okay, I was going to do just the regular shorts, and I was guided or got a hit saying to do a kipper reading. So how I'm going to do it is I'm just going to shuffle them and go from the bottom of the deck or wherever I, you know, uh, am guided or whatever to stop. <laughs> so I'm just going to do a little kipper reading. Hi, guys. Kelly here from Mystical Madness. I hope everyone's doing good tonight. We finally got... A little break in the rain. Okay, let's see. We had one flip. False person flipped over. Okay. there. That is a number eight on that card. Eights are abundant, so, but that could be like a Leo. That could be a Leo. Okay, now I'm guided to the bottom of the deck. Big time in my ear. Okay, we have a main male. And a false person so far. Okay. Something about toil and labor. Something about your job or somebody's job. Now we have privileged lady falling on the toil and labor. So maybe you are working on your money. And being the privileged lady is kind of like getting the empress. Getting your money up. But, well, we have unexpected income. Okay. So I'll put that. On the privileged lady and the family room means that people are talking about this whatever's going on here in different rooms you know what I mean your name is being mentioned in different rooms regarding this unexpected income let me just put it like False person, main male, occupation. Hold on, I'm going to go backwards in a minute. I'm still guided to go with this, okay? So if I go up, your name is being spoken in family rooms about this unexpected income that you are creating and that is ugh, allowing you to become this privileged lady. See what happens when you read it up that way? And then we get, again, we got toil and labor. So somebody here is a very hard worker and whatever you're doing is creating income for you. So then we have a main male and a false person. Okay. So I don't know who this false person is, but it was the first card out. Okay. So just a little bit of a, there is adjudication card here now. So. This is something to do with the legal system or just documents or contracts. Okay, now we have a mature man coming out. I'm just going to throw the cards out and then read it for you. Who could be in despair? This mature man. About, or somebody could be in despair. Not that mature man because there's two men there. I mean, it could be, but... This is marriage here. So somebody, okay. Right now, if I were to stop, the false person is at the top of the deck. So that's the main character. Could be in despair over somebody wanting to marry you or be in some kind of commitment with you. But we had this change card, which is like the Wheel of Fortune. So I feel like it, it will happen regardless uh, there could have been children. Okay, so now now we have one story. So, well, let me just keep going. There could have been a child involved. Or this card to me means that somebody stayed for the children. So, if you don't have any children, just disregard that. It also could have been, you know, a child involved in, in um, just like somebody's third party relationship. Something like that. Now we have courtship. And this is coming out all still from the bottom of the deck the way I was. We got courtship. So somebody wants to court you. Okay, so this poverty card on the courtship says 
that either somebody feels in lack Don't forget, we have two stories here. This could be maybe somebody just doesn't have the money right now to court you. Or this could be this, you know, uh, the baby daddy <laughs> that's feeling impoverished or in poverty. Okay, we got the lovers here. Somebody could have tried to keep you in poverty. Either both of you or one of you with the toil and labor. I thought that before, but I didn't say it. I'm just giving you a couple scenarios. And then look at the thief cards in my hand. So, the lovers and the thief. Okay, let me keep going. And then great fortune. Court, courthouse. So, maybe somebody's getting an inheritance or going to win a legal case or have a, a legal case and sudden wealth with the courthouse, okay? This could be a concern for somebody. Somebody can be concerned about this. But there's a 33 on this card, okay? So that that's a very divine number. That's when Jesus went back up to his father, but that's, uh, if you look that number up, it's like, uh, uh, three, 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 three is about changes. Wow. Okay. Let me keep going. Distant horizons is like moving to calmer waters. There's like travel or, uh, distant, look out in the distant horizon, see the rainbow. It's like good things coming. So that could be um, signify the world card completion. Something here with the house, okay? Maybe that's what's in the distant horizons. Maybe you'll be getting your own house or something, something to do with the house. Official person, okay? Bad health. Somebody could be in bad health. Alright, I'm going to read this back for you guys so that, and then we got high honor. See why I want to keep going? Let me just go a little quicker. High honor. Somebody thinking about you. There's a love letter there. It looks like a handwritten maybe. And, you know, he's, you're in the cloud or whoever he's thinking about is in the cloud. This could be him thinking about. Uh, a community of people, too, uh, that did possibly have something to do with your job, okay? All right, let me, now then there's another gift card. This has something to do with what you're doing for work or with that thief card. Uh, it could have even been, the like, the person you walked away from that, that could have been, like, that's like the seven of swords, kind of, okay, Wealthy man. Expectation. So somebody could be waiting, like looking out the window, wondering and waiting for a message, feeling imprisoned because they're waiting. And then the pathway card is, this could be about somebody's spiritual path or just uh, a clear pathway. See, the light coming through the, the pathway could be clear now. Because there was a, either a, possibly a death. That could be where the sudden wealth comes in. I'm sorry if it is. Or this means transformation. Scorpio energy. Another message. Mature woman. Journey. So travel possibly. Or moving to calmer waters. Like, you know, that six of swords. Journey card. Or somebody wants to travel towards you. Main female. And then, okay. The bottom, the top of the deck is false person. The bottom of the deck is message of concern. So I would definitely, you know your story. Be aware. If, if you do know that there's a false person who doesn't want this to come together. Because that's what it seems like. Just, I don't want to say warning, but 
message. Okay, let me read it back now, okay? There's a message of concern from the bottom of the deck about this main female or from this main female. That's a number two on that, so that's like a very divine person that wants to, that somebody wants to travel towards this mature woman, okay? So we do, we have a main female and a mature woman. So a mature woman could sometimes be a mother. Six is uh, June or sometimes it has to do with like a relationship. So this mature woman could be, could have been the one, you know, with the message of concern. Could be a mother figure too. Okay, then there's somebody wants to send you a message. Clearly there's a heart there. Something about a death or that they had a transformation and the pathway is clear or somebody has a, a path that they're taking. But I think the pathway is clear. But then the imprisonment card, somebody could actually be in prison. But usually this means just like, oh, you know, you're feeling mentally stuck. And you could be expecting a message from this person. From a wealthy man, so like a king of pentacles or um, emperor, and possibly he's bringing in a gift, occupation, maybe something you're doing for your occupation, you're going to get a gift. There's a community of people, so maybe you're doing something like uh, online or social media, somebody is thinking about you. Because you're high honor. They look at you as high honor. This person could also be high honor. That's, uh, there's like military stuff in there. Okay, then we got somebody in bad health. Official, this, this, somebody's in bad health. It could be this official person about a house. In the distant horizons. Like, that somebody may want to travel towards you or... I don't know, move, do something to do with the house. This is a concern for somebody, for that, uh, that either the official person or the mature woman. This is a concern for somebody. But then we got sudden wealth, courthouse, great fortune, thief. So somebody could have taken money or something. Then we got the lovers and poverty. Uh, oh, this could be, yes, this person, you're, you're probably getting sudden wealth because this person kept you in poverty that you overstayed. Whoever overstayed because of the children, this could be your message because that's how it's coming out. This also could be like a seven of swords, poverty, or somebody's just feeling defeated or something like that. They want to court you, and then there's the child card, and there's going to be a change. This is like the Wheel of Fortune, change. Number nine could be significant, or something could be happening in September or in nine days. We had marriage, and then somebody's in despair. This main or mature man could be in despair because something to do with the courthouse with judication. They're talking about this in the family room and then unexpected income, privileged lady for your occupation or for your good work, main from a main male, and then false person. So... If you go backward, I hope that made sense. I could just tell you that, you know, I don't get that. I did the whole deck on purpose, but this came out first. False person. So, and look at it flying. And it's red signifying it could be a Capricorn woman or, um, well, there's a woman on the card. Could be a fire sign, but red signifies the devil. She's got a thing covering her face. This could be the thief. The false person could be the thief. And then there's a man back here blindfolded. 
So, maybe you know what I mean? Somebody was blindfolded to what was happening back there. And the message of concern could be this whole whatever happened with this false person and this man back here that was, you know, clueless to it. That Because when you go to the bottom of the deck, it's message of concern. Hope that made sense. I will pull a quick oracle here. Even though this isn't, this is a um, goddess stream. Real quick, just to see what comes out. Okay, Holy Spirit, can you give me an oracle card for this reading, please? Please, 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 and thank you. Oh, my God. Too many fell out, but <laughs> what I can see right away. Insight. New beginnings, opportunity. Wait. <laughs> Insight. Be open to enhancement. So, things are getting better for you. And intention. That's like uh, putting your intention out there, like manifestation. It, your intention. I, I want to win, you know, the lottery tonight and then s stick with it and manifest it. And then we do the New Beginnings card. Opportunity. It, go in nature. Connection, I, I would never make this up, and the other one's flipped down. So there is a new beginning here, and somebody does want to court you. And I didn't even know this card would, look at it's the, it's the actual main card in the deck, and it says abundance. So that great fortune in that, count your blessings, count your blessings. Okay, guys? And trust the process, so this must be divine intervention. Keep keep staying inspiring and keep inspiring others. Maybe you're doing something. These are broke, so I'm not. Maybe you're doing something. See, there's like a pathway here, too. You're getting insight. Maybe you're uh, getting inspiration. You could have a very creative side. Then we have bravery and passion, so that there's a lot of passion here. A white horse could be significant, and it says direction. Where are you heading? <laughs> so, seems like you're heading in the right direction, because then we got the dancing card. Maybe you like to dance or something to do with dancing. Keep dreaming, and look at letting go. So, there was another relationship I'm, that you let go of, somebody that, or something to do with, you know, children, something in the past. And somebody wants to court you now. I'm not sure what I... You'll know. I hope this helped. I sometimes over-explain myself. Uh, 18 minutes and 5 seconds. So not too bad. Thanks, guys. Don't forget to hit the like button on the way out. And we'll see you on the next one.